Welcome to Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm Probability at Success Zero, and this is episode 58 in our series 3 playthrough. Now, before you do anything else, do make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification icons so you can stay up to date with the latest releases as they come out. Now, a quick recap on what's happened in the last couple of episodes. We've been trying to get the hurricane here into the game and there was a bit of complication regarding that because we had to go into space and get some extra gold to build the CPU extenders, uh, the tier fours. So we managed to get that done. We've managed to get the ship into the game. I've now done the upgrade of the Mako as well as the upgrade of the Leopard class hover tank. So all of those things are in in the game as of now. We've also spent some time equipping the ship so there was a few few glitches and a few little tweaks I had to do with this ship apparently again seems to be a common fault of mine I need to start doing this more in creative apparently the ship had a fault with the air tightness so air was leaking out of the um, out of the ship so I managed to resolve that now so it's a now fully uh, fully airtight vessel uh, I've managed to get the Mako docked on top. Oh, about now to walk on stairs. Um, managed to get the Mako docked onto the upper deck, and we managed to get the Leopard docked in the lower hangar. Um, I've done some additional work on the inside simply because I wanted to give myself some area to potentially hold some additional fuel cells outside of the fuel tanks. What? What's going on? Here we go. It's alright, I forgot. I put a sensor in here to open the doors. Um, yeah, forgive the lagginess. That is due to the fact we've got a hell of a lot of items in this area at the minute. Um, so, yeah, so I've done this on the interior. So these are meant to be um, kind of fuel cells, storage for additional fuel. Um, at the minute we haven't got any so you know don't need to worry about that uh, I've had to do some remodeling in here as well so you might notice this floor slightly raised that is because both the top and the bottom of these areas here weren't airtight so I've had to do a little bit of work on that uh, I've had to do some additional work over here taking the rails out just to make it look feasible yeah the radiation is really high uh, let's come out of there so, uh, we've got the 320,000 storage there. We've got the plants over here, or at least the grow plots. Um, I'll have to do some work upstairs with a few air type things as well. Yeah, I had a problem with this staircase over here because there's a gap that led into the hangar bay. So technically, there still is, but it just looks a bit more. Like you can't slip through there and fall, which you could do before. We've got the second teleporter in here for leaving the ship. So that's all done. Um, I've had some problems with the ammunition. Um, apparently, I need a bigger storage area. I might actually take, in fairness, I might take this second controller out and just allocate it all to that controller down there. I'm not sure yet. That's because um, apparently, just looking at that, that needs, I kind of need blocking off. Um, yeah, let's put light on. Uh, apparently, uh, this is not big enough to hold all the ammunition. I've had to put the artillery um, ammo in the one below. Now, bear in mind, we haven't actually loaded the guns yet, so that might change. Um, O2 over here. I've realised I haven't put an armour repair in here as well. That's something we might need. Well, not that, you know, I, I think I might need. I definitely need it. So I might take one of these out and stick an armour repair just there. Um, but for now, we're going to skip all that. We're going to go to the bridge. And just check the windows. Slight discoloration there. 
Yeah, slight discoloration on there as well. Right, okay, let's see what happens then. Okay, so external view. We should have enough fuel to get us off the planet. I've done some logic changes. Uh, need to pick up some more pentaxid. Yeah, that's maxed that out. Let's switch them over. Uh, got no more fuel. I've maxed out our fuel at the minute. I've used fusion cells galore for this. Right, let's just take the highlights off. Right, um, I'm, I've split my weapons into three tiers. So, once they go hot, I can sort of keep my primary turrets into secondary modes. So that should keep it like that. I really should call that trinary, shouldn't I? We're going to leave it like that for now. Um, thrusters are sort of the same. So I sort of need to trigger that off. That's uh, safety. Okay, so this should be fun. Uh, yeah, we don't need weapons on. We'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. Um, I've also made a bit of a boo-boo when I designed this ship. I designed it and I built it and it turned out I hadn't actually put a shield generator in it. So I had to put a shield generator in, which was kind of embarrassing. So for those of you that noticed that, yes, we were missing a shield generator. I actually thought it was in there, somewhere in the back half of the ship. Apparently it wasn't. I removed it as part of the remodel. Um, so yeah, let's get off the planet. Oh God, yeah, I need to do a couple of things. Let's just hover a second. Um, Yeah, it's got to come off. Yeah, I put three, um, three wireless in here as well. So that should just, oh God, we really. There we are, we're in space. Uh, auto break off. So we're just running on the small engines at the minute. Well, I say small, they're actually medium. There's the Mako dot on top. If you just about see it there. Oh, you probably can't see it too well, but I've actually put some holographic writing on the, the front part of the ship. You just about see it near the cockpit. There you go. Hurricane Mark 25D. Alright, we need to zoom out a bit now. There we go. Let's bring up the hood again. Alright, okay. So, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to obviously put this ship for its test, uh, for its paces. Uh, we need to put territories up. Obviously, the Xerax would be the ideal test. Um, we're going to have to jump over to their system. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and ruin their day. Let's go and ruin their day. Uh, where? Oh no, I need to bring the highlight up. Okay. And 
we should be okay to warp. Let's collapse all my gizmos. Yeah, we've got plenty of everything. We're fine. Uh, thrusters are on min. Right, we should be alright. Let's do it. So this is the first flight of the uh, hurricane. Lift them up. What's that? Yep, sixty in there. Oh yeah, she does look really nice. Okay. Right. Let's have a quick look where we're going. So, this is a system we've raided before. We've been to this planet here. Oh, it's a planet called Wine. Oh, look what's there. It's a lava planet. Radiation is really high. Gravity is about normal. Very large lava planet. Right, what about this one? It's a large lava planet. That's the temperate medium planet. Undiscovered. It's that arid planet. We're not going back there again. What we're looking for. going to try this asteroid belt just here because that's a rich one so let's lock that one and break orbit and we're just going to jump away five four three two one oh, hang on. let's just make sure yeah go I'm hoping we're not going to jump right into some enemy ships, that would be really bad. Uh, ice Asteroid, and we do have a red dot already. Uh, iron Asteroid, oh, we're picking stuff up pretty quick. Right, okay, I'm going to have to bring shields up straight away. I'm going to bring up the weapons. Leaving the weapon. Uh, don't know what that is. Wreckage. Let's investigate. Shields are online, aren't they? Yep, yeah, shields are online. Orbital production facility. Right. I'm 
bring us to a full stop. Anything else in the set tie? Doesn't look like it. Just a whole load of asteroids and objects. There's a lot of asteroids there. Right. Let's just creep in slowly. Right, I'm pretty certain I just told all my guns not to engage. Turrets. Yeah, okay, artillery turret. Signal, yeah, primary. Primary, yeah, okay, so why did one of you start firing? Was it the flak? I think it might have been the flak actually, guys. I can't tell. Right. Yeah, the flak cannon. Not the artillery. Here we go. We're engaging. Oh shit, 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 shit. We've got incoming enemies. Yeah, we're pulling away. Ah, uh, we've got an enemy ship as well. Do this properly, guys. We've got an enemy ship. Oh, Stalos. Oh. I can't even tell where there's their turrets. Oh, great. That's one turret down. It's going to hit something. No, it's not. Yeah, I think we're taking that down. That's that turret down. Come on, take out the engines. What we're firing on over there? Nothing apparently. Oh, 
have been firing on something, to be honest. Right, looks like we've battered them. I think Talos is down as well. Still got an engine. That engine is down. Sure, it's got no more frost. Whoa, what that? take out whatever remains of its forward engines it's got to be it surely turn all the engines off uh, weapons off right Let's just have a look over here. Yeah, you're running, aren't you, mate? You're not running. I'm tempted to get the uh, Mako and see if I can spot the engines. I know this is a weird design, it's got engines embedded somewhere. Oh. Oh, ah! Yep, I think it's just so, guys. Got that one. Crying out loud, this we can't stop this bloody shit. Come on. I'm out of ammunition. Come on. Ah! 
Hopefully if I blast through the back. I'm gonna have to take something out that's gonna drive this ship. This thing is built like a tank, it's not going down is it? Try and take the bridge out. I'm turning the bloody shields off because there's no no damage coming this way. Better not been on me. I think we did it, guys. I think we did it. We just blew the ship up. That's it. That's it. We've done it. Fuck. Right. Okay, let's just check our weapons. Weapons off. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to have to leg it quickly, guys. Oop. I got the EVA, but ah, sod it, sod it, sod it. Alright, F4, let's link on to the cargo container. Yeah, we'll just do this. Oh, for love of God. Um, let's just go straight to the bridge. If there is a oh, the there was a bridge. Is there a bridge still? No. We blew the bridge up. Yeah, we blew the bridge up. Do 
that's coming in pretty fast. Right, I don't think there's anything in here. It's invaluable anyway. Yeah, we blew the absolute shit out of this. Right, let's just ignore that. There's nothing in there worth looting. It's coming in fast. Right, we'll just do one quick check. Okay, maybe not. That's the court. Buy Xerax. Yeah, let's not put C4 on the side of my ship. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Right, okay, we're in. That bloody pointless. So we'll just drop all of that in. Nothing of value, really. Okay, let's get in. Let's check out. Uh, we, yeah, we're alright. We're alright. Third person. Let's put Frosted back on. Uh, Max. Men Frost. Oh, there's two ships inbound. Right. We're, we're going to go Max Frost. We're not messing around. Let's see what this puppy is all about. Oh, but I put the shields up, shouldn't I? On shields, yeah, shields are back up. I think to be fair guys, oh yeah, yeah, we're... So whoever this is, is about to have a bad day. I think we're out. Reloading missiles. Right, we've got new contact. Crap. That's not being identified. What the hell? Oh hell, 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 hell. hell. I want that ship ID. Oh, right. Okay, so destroyer. Okay, destroyer versus destroyer time. Right. No more plane.
Damn, this thing's armored. Our shields are taking a battering. Pull away, pull away, pull away, pull away. Yeah. He's done quite a bit of damage to our shields. Damn, we have got to pull away from there. Damn, that guy's wrecking my shields. Check our ammunition status. Not good. Right, our projectiles. We're out of uh, flak. Right, we're nearly out of all our ammunition. Just turn the weapons off for a sec. Turn the thrusters off. Save some power. Yeah, it's closing distance. I yeah, definitely got the advantage. Careful here, keep the thrusters on. So we're trying to maintain distance at the minute. I'm not running, honest, I'm just trying to get my shields back up. And they're keeping pace with me on shields. So all weapons are active now. 
gonna have to go in. Oh, they got artillery. We gotta take that artillery out first. We, we, we can't take this ship out. Yeah, we've got to pull away. Jesus. I think I saw another ship sneaking up behind us as well. Yeah, there's a second ship. Okay, we are actually outgunned here. Haha, <laughs> what a brilliant start. Yeah, there's two destroyers over there. Guys, this is quite a serious situation. Yeah, they're coming in. sure why these guys are not showing up on the scanner. He's certainly within range now. Just gonna have another pop if we can. No, they're, they're too close to cover. Two bloody destroyers right on top of each other. Right. Let's see if we can take out their orbital facility. We'll hit that, see if we can draw them back.
I think we took out all the guns. Same three red dots now. Ah, okay, so it's two. Are they coming back? We got planned to be super cheeky. Do you think we could get bored, steal something and get out before these guys come back? Because we can't see them on the sensors. No, they're out there. Right, I'm just going to have to be super cheeky, leave the shields and everything going. Let's switch the engines off, save some power. And we're going to go for it. Probably the worst idea ever. took it out, we took out a core and everything. Killed all the Zirak. Yeah, it's what we're looking for. Yeah, there's quite a few sentry guns up there. Normally, if you look around, there might be a hidden little thing in the Truskin. I'll be careful, I don't want to get caught with the ship being undefended back here. Here's an all.
There was a hole, I can't remember where the hole was. Oh, it was down here, wasn't it? That's the core. Got it. Oh shit, he's paid attention. Um, we need to get going. Come in. That's what I'm looking for. Grab that one. Oh, great. Just give me components. Of course, it would because I didn't put a core down. Damn it. Um, yeah, I'm panicking. Just grab everything. Oh, you. Oh shit, he's right on top of us. Uh. Quick, quick, quick. Here they come. Yeah, he's... Oh, put, put the engines on. Do we think we could take this one on our own? What do you think? Where's the other one? I need to know where the other one's gone. Back it, we'll give it a try. Oh, the other one's right next to it, right. Yeah, we've got two on us now, we've got a bail. Jesus. Yeah, we're not going to win again. Is that... That almost looks like it's three now. No, no, it's just two. Right. 
So we survived that. I don't know if the Mako survived that. We took a lot of hits just then. guys I'm going to be setting course for home I think that's a pretty good field test it's clear we need a lot more ammunition for this type of engagement the shields off weapons off we're burnt through a lot of fuel and a lot of ammunition and a lot of warp fuel as well so we need to leave while we can so let's get going before we get overrun Hopefully we don't need to go all the way into in fact can we I think we need to be in the sector. See how this works. This will be the first time I use the teleporter. Walker it. Got on the fuel long enough. We, we are stopped. Thank you. Okay, gravity is off. Oh, gravity is still on. Try to teleport now, see if we can get back to the home base. Partly, yes. Nice. Oh yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, so that was the maiden voyage of the hurricane. We took on quite a few targets then, took on three capital ships and a station. I managed to defeat the station and a capital ship, but those two destroyers a little bit too much. We we could take out one, taking out two was too much for us. So for now guys, I'm going to call that episode an end. And in the next episode, we're going to have to reevaluate. Yeah, I did make this hole. Uh, we're going to reevaluate exactly what we need to actually take out one of those destroyers because they were packing a hell of a punch. So for now guys, thank you for watching and um, I'll catch you in a bit.